ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് നെൽസൺ മണ്ടേല ഇന്റർനാഷണൽ ഡേ ഈസ് ബീ സെലിബ്രേറ്റഡ് ഓൺ ദ എയ്റ്റീൻത്ത് ഡേ ഓഫ് ജൂലൈ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൾസോ കോൾഡ് മണ്ടേല ഡേ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഹിസ് ബർത്ത് ഡേ ആൻഡ് ദ സെലിബ്രേഷൻ ഈസ് ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി എൻ ഓണർ പേ ടു ഹിം The day was officially declared by the United Nations in November 2009. The first Mandela Day was celebrated officially on 18 July 2010 in New York, while some groups began celebrating it in 2009 itself. Mandela Day is not a public holiday. but a day to appreciate the legacy of Nelson Mandela the day is a global call to action that celebrates the idea that each individual has the power to transform the world well the ability to make an impact the un resolution acknowledges his contribution to the struggle for democracy internationally and to the promotion of a culture of peace throughout the world Mandela Day is recognition of his values and his dedication to the service of humanity The areas of his commitment includes conflict resolution race relations promotion and protection of human rights reconciliation gender equality and the rights of children and other vulnerable groups the fight against poverty the promotion of social justice etc Nelson Mandela was born in a village called Weso in the eastern cape of South Africa He fought for social justice for 67 years Mandela was jailed for leading the liberation movement against apartheid. He was referred to in the jail by the inmate number 46664. He was in the jail for 27 years paying the price for freedom and dignity. Nelson Mandela was a legend indeed so. He was the president of South Africa well the first democratically elected president of the free South Africa bringing people together around the world to fight poverty and to promote peace reconciliation and cultural diversity would be a fitting regard paid to him The first global celebration of Mandela Day was his 91st birthday. Nelson Mandela Foundation organized on the day a series of educational art exhibit, fundraising and volunteer events leading up to a concert at Radio City Music Hall. The UN General Assembly established Nelson Mandela Prize in 2014, a five-yearly award that recognizes the achievements of those who dedicated their lives to the service of humanity. Nelson Mandela was a human rights lawyer, a prisoner of conscience, and an international peacemaker. He won over the apartheid regime of South Africa. The parliament luminary had revolutionary ideas about freedom. To be free is not merely to cast off one's chains, but to live in a way that respects and enhances the freedom of others. The legacy of Nelson Mandela is the monumental achievements that changed the 20th century and shaped the 21st his tall values firm determination and deep commitment to human rights 
freedom and justice are a perennial source of inspiration for one and all. Mandela advocated for the rightful dignity and equality of every living person and encouraged engagement and solidarity across all borders. Nelson Mandela was a man of absolute determination and deep commitment to justice, human rights and fundamental freedoms. He was known for his profound belief in the equality and dignity of every woman and man. He engaged with the people across all lines and divisions in view of dialogue and solidarity. Mandela was a great statesman, a stern advocate of equality and the founding father of peace in South Africa. In other words, he is a powerful symbol of the power of resisting oppression, of justice over inequality, of dignity over humiliation and of forgiveness over hatred. He was a great humanist as well. Nelson Mandela was a goodwill ambassador of UNESCO. He was the 1991 laureate of the UNESCO Peace Prize as well. Empowering all women and men with equal rights and dignity, along with promoting dialogue and solidarity for justice and lasting peace, was the mission of UNESCO. In fact, the legacy of Mandela matched that of UNESCO. In his legendary speech delivered at the Rivonia trial in South Africa in 1964, Nelson Mandela said, I have cherished the ideal of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunities. It's an ideal which I hope to live for and to achieve. But if needs be, it's an ideal for which I am prepared to die. Audrey Azoulay, Director General of UNESCO, on the occasion of Nelson Mandela International Day, stated, his mission as an anti-apartheid revolutionary was establishing equality and freedom for all women, men and children. He stood for the fundamental rights of all human beings, regardless of gender, nationality or race. This is also the very ideal for which Nelson Mandela was jailed for 27 years. Despite his imprisonment, Nelson Mandela continued to believe in these ideals and upon his release continued to put them into practice. Besides, in honor of the 27 years Nelson Mandela spent in the prison, the UN General Assembly revised and adopted United Nations Standard Minimum Rules for the treatment of prisoners and declared it Nelson Mandela rules. Well friends, being born into this world has a specific purpose. It's for making a difference in the families, communities, nations and the society. Changing the world for the better is the responsibility of everyone. Everyone has the ability to make change possible too. The whole world, India in special, has much to learn from Nelson Mandela. Definitely so. Mandela Day is a fitting occasion for taking inspiration and facilitating change. Yes, change for making a more inclusive and harmonious society. On the occasion of Nelson Mandela International Day 2022, 
on behalf of Institute of Harmony and Peace Studies, New Delhi. I wish to make a strong appeal to the fellow citizens of my country and the world beyond. Let us draw inspiration from the great world luminary Nelson Mandela and commit ourselves to equality, dignity, freedom and peace and thus contribute to making the world a better place to live in for one and all. Thank you.